there's a leap of faith on, on both sides. Patricia Huey lives within walking distance of the parkway, making her house a prime place to stay for visitors wanting to see the Pope. She's opening her home to some international travelers who, apart from a couple emails, she's never even met before. I'm not a particularly cautious person about things like that. I tend to believe that most people are good and that, you know, 99.99% of the time you're not going to get any trouble. She's renting her rooms for a fairly reasonable price compared to most hotels and other host families. But she says whatever the price, she's doing it for the experience. That's why she's excited to get to know one of her guests, Arnold Biddy from the Congo. TUTV spoke with Arnold over Skype before he made his pilgrimage to see the Pope. And since he speaks French, we brought in a translator. It will be an exchange. I'll bring African culture and values and they will give me, teach me American customs. It will be an atmosphere of trade, I would say. I hope it will be more than just staying in their house. There will be something more. It's historically significant. You know, it's really, it's the kind of thing people remember uh, all their lives. Patricia says she hopes to be an ambassador for the city to make sure that guests leave with a good impression. Certainly Kevin West from South Philly remembers where he was the last time a pope was in town. I just remember him coming down Broad Street and my grandma getting on her hands and knees before and my uncle screaming at her to tell her to get up, you're going to miss her. And he even said after that experience he wouldn't mind hosting someone this time around. I wouldn't mind meeting somebody from, you know, never know.